days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need in. Welcome to the show. Hi. Well, well, yeah, I'm glad to be uh, on your show. I really am enjoying it down here in, in the hot uh, sun of, of South Tennessee. But I just had a couple of things I just wanted to throw out there. Uh, there was another guy that all of us know who was 80 and stuttered. His name was Moses. And when people rebelled against Moses, God destroyed those people. I think that people are wrong trying to take Joe Biden down. They they really don't understand what's at stake. I grew up in the South. I've seen cross burnings uh, when I was a kid in the 60s, back in 66. It's a fearful thing to see uh, when white people are really, uh, you know, think they got all the power. It's mm-hmm. going to tell them what these people are going to do. And another thing I want to throw out there. Okay. When I was in school in the South, Every white kid that went to school, the school teachers told them at the age of five that they could be president. Mm. And the white boys believed that. They hated that Obama was in there, and now you've got the potential of a black woman becoming president. And all these jealous politicians, that's all this is just jealousy, because they ain't never going to be president. And they upset about it, and they mad about it. They need to leave Joe Biden alone, support him, and get behind this man so we can keep this country on the right track. That's all I wanted to say. Well, I appreciate you. Shout out um, to Mario. Yeah, I don't think we're on the right track, but I think if we, <laughs> whatever but, track we but he are. Right. He's right, though. Yeah, no, we no, we he on a track. Right. We on a track. <laughs> we know. barely on the track. We got like one set of wheels on the track right oh now. Oh my god, we just are trying to avoid the derailment. This is right. what we yeah, this exactly. is what we're doing. But the, the, <laughs> now, but if we want to go in the other direction, we're gonna need to have a different yeah. conductor at some point. Yeah. You know, yeah. but we need to at least be. We need a lot. We need track. a lot yeah. to get it yes. on the track. Yes. We would like to go on, yes. like to get yes. to that junction. But we're not gonna make it to the junction right now Yo. if people keep yeah. messing around. I love that. I love that. I also, learn something today. I didn't know Moses stuttered. Yeah, Moses did stutter, but I didn't I know, know Moses. I don't remember him growing right. up. Right. <laughs> I mean, Mar- Mario sound like that was the homie, but <laughs> he said, me you know, Moses, I know he couldn't get three sentences out, but I know when he took them tablets. Right. Down That's from why the he back. wrote the commandments down because he's got tired of trying to tell <laughs> them. Y'all read it. <laughs> right. I drop. Oh, it was supposed to be twenty. Don't worry about them other ten. Go ahead and read. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it here. Okay, let's <laughs> let's. Let's go to Tina. Tina in Georgia. Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, Roderick. Hey. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, I have all the syllables. But first, I wanted to our elders. Y'all, Miss Pat is amazing. Or is it Dr. Pat? Dr. Pat. Let's give Dr. Payne. Let's be be even more appropriate. Yes. Yeah. So, but Anyway, um, it's so much going on in this world, and we're just so focused on the non. Mm. Okay. The non, non, non. Uh, Trump is a non. Okay. So I, let's get that I, over. I with. called on you to because you said you had a question. Yeah, I do. What? What's going to happen if? Because there's no one else on the ballot, but President Biden and Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. There's no one else. So who are they going to vote for? All these Democratic politicians that want him gone, they're not saying who they would elect. Okay. Mm-hmm. Th- and that's the question? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna, okay. I mean, we, we raised that, Roger was saying. Yeah. That they're not, they, they know who they want. They refuse to say it. Because they're gonna look racist. Yep. That's if it overcomes Vice President Harris. So they know 
they go St Stacey Abrams been out supporting everybody that I've seen supporting the mayor of Merrill uh, Baltimore the governor of Baltimore it's it's strange to me the people mm -hmm. lining up to yours and Lamont's point these people we ain't never heard of before but they all share a common off-white com complexion and hue mm -hmm. um wh hmm. what if they um try to ram a, a Gavin Newsom or a Gretchen Whitmer what, what do, I, I what's your prediction? You, Roger? I told you two weeks ago with, with this all with, after the debate, I said they skip over Kamala Harris. I don't know what they're gonna do because they think they think black people fed up. They think black people might abandon them. I know every black person I love Kamala Harris, but I remember when Kamala was when they were trying to pick the VP, and you seen black people that called her a cop talking about Joe better pick her. So so when it comes down to it. It would be a slap in the face to black people and especially black women who are the backbone of that party, hands down, who staff so many positions in this administration and judges. So I just can't see it happen without some type of huge rebellion or at least a loss of enthusiasm from black voters. Okay. My days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I needed. You're the closest.